Hello. Today I am in my greenhouse, a little greenhouse at the back of my home, and uh, I uh, looking forward to give you a small tour of it. But first, I uh, main purpose of this video is to just uh, let all of you know about my upcoming health workshops, um, the series that I planned for September. So. First is uh, this weekend I'm going to be doing my health workshop that's called Curing Chronic Illnesses with Integrated Natural Therapies. And uh, the workshop is about using uh, uh, natural therapies like diet and nutrition, acupressure for diagnosis and healing, uh, then uh, healthy habits, uh, internal organ cleanses or topic that's called uh, cleanse therapy then uh, also how to use uh, herbs for healing and um, techniques like the five elements therapy or sun yoga that I have detailed in my book that uh, many of you know about become healthy or extinct so uh, this uh, the schedule of these workshops uh, it's gonna happen uh, this weekend in uh, it's a full day intensive health workshop where uh, right from 9 in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening where you will be learning about all of these topics and um, uh, an important skill that is uh, with acupressure how to diagnose uh, your entire body and different organs and different parts of your body and see whether they are healthy or not and to what degree uh, they are sick if they are and also how to cure them by yourself so I will be training people on this and uh, People will also get an autographed copy of my book, uh, some acupressure gadgets that they can use for healing and uh, it's catered uh, for every person to uh, you know, have a proper understanding of uh, weaknesses in their bodies and how to address their individual health problems, you know, how to resolve them. So everybody goes home with an individual uh, diet plan. Um, uh, an acupressure treatment program and also insights into what are the natural organ cleanses that they should do for healing. So the schedule is uh, this Sunday, uh, starting this Sunday 2nd in Mumbai, then the next Sunday which is 9th in Delhi, the Sunday after that which is 16th in Hyderabad and uh, the la Sunday after that 23rd of September in Bangalore so I still have to fix venues for uh, my Delhi, Hyderabad and Bangalore workshops but the detail of this workshop you will get on my website uh, that is becomehealthyorextinct.com and uh, I have given details there of how you can join the workshop by paying the you know advance uh, to book your seat and um, if you're interested also uh, in any of you are interested in coming for these workshops and want more information in this video itself you can uh, you know just mention your email address ask for information and mention your city so that's uh, how I will send you an invite and it's an invite that you can share with friends and family too so we have a nice group of about um, hopefully 20 people in each of these cities to all work together and you know understand uh, these amazing uh, therapies and techniques that will allow you to reverse teach you to reverse all of the chronic illnesses like uh, high BP cholesterol diabetes obesity arthritis hormonal imbalance liver problems kidney problems you know this is the work that I've been doing right since uh, 2005 although I should do it a uh, one-to-one one earlier and then I started doing workshops publicly in 2012 and now these uh, series of workshops mainly because I'm getting a lot of uh, requests for help from people from all over the country and overseas and uh, I'm not having enough time to do one-to-one -one consultations so I thought best that I do these uh, you know every weekend I do one of these workshops in a different metro city in India and invite all of the people who want you know to experience these therapies and to heal themselves uh, to this workshop so like I promised I am going to take you a bit around this is my 
a little greenhouse at the back side of my house. I have one on the front side also too, on the right side <coughs> and on the left, which maybe I'll show you some other time. So today I will just uh, turn around this video yeah, so you can see some stuff and I can see what I'm showing you. I think there's a button somewhere here. Yes. So this should do the job. Nope. Not working. Yes, there you have it. So that's my kitchen window there. And what you have here is uh, these guys going on top. So yeah, this is something that I've you know I've used to uh, cover the top because in Goa we have had uh, such heavy rains and uh, when you don't cover your plants you know all these uh, wonderful flowers uh, that are going to get you vegetables they really get bashed up by the rain and you can't have these vegetables in the rainy season in open fields so that's why I'm doing it in a covered space so what you hear see here is the I'm sure you understand this is a ridge gourd and then this long green one here it's uh, what grows in uh, like North India mostly it's called a cucumber kira <laughs> quite a long one that's now kind of going to more than uh, two and a half feet and uh, so I've got basically ridge good here there is some ash good there are cucumbers that you can see here too all over the place and you know so Every morning, if you step in here at about 7 or 8, you can see all the uh, the bees, you know, coming and pollinating the flowers. Uh, here, what you can see is okra, or what is called bhindi in English. This is, you know, one of the most amazing plants. In one of my Facebook uh, photos, I give the detail of how this plant, uh, you know, it flowers just for one day. It gets pollinated in the same day. And then, uh, like this, the flower will uh, fall to the ground. And then in the next uh, couple of days, I think that flower is from this one here. Probably from this one here. Yeah. Yeah, over here. So these guys are going to go through this uh, long size in about just uh, five to six days. So, pretty amazing. And here what I have is some uh, big leaf uh, pak choy, then curry leaves, then uh, this is called um, Malaysian spinach. Uh, some of you may recognize this plant. Uh, this is uh, next to it, the creeper that's going on top in the purple and there are many over the, all around the place. Uh, that's the Malabar spinach. Or in Goa, what they call Valchi Bhaji. Okay. Uh, I have some chili growing here. And it's a mix of all of these things that I learned from permaculture. Here I have some a new kale coming up. There's amaranth. The gourds. And what else? What else? What else? Okay, there's some bitter gourd also coming up. Mm. And... Yeah, here's a whole bunch of uh, curry leaves and yes, here this is uh, cherry tomatoes still to flower and bring some fruit and here are some mustard greens. This is, uh, I think it's a bitter good that's coming up and what you see here is called um, Thai spinach or water leaf. Okay, so what else? What else? Yeah, and I have some palak also coming here. The the usual uh, normal Indian palak. And over there, far out, there are some string beans. Uh, that we did some harvesting. And I think I got a couple of trees that have got the purple string beans as well. And here is <laughs> my pheromone trap for all those flying guys who are eating up the crops
and what else? So this is just, yeah, I'm growing about, you can see it, about 10 different vegetables over here, just in my, uh, the back side of my house. And the front side and the one side of the house has got another, you know, 10, 12 vegetables. So, we are doing about, uh, totally about 20 vegetables um, at home. And maybe next time when I, when I am at the farm, you know, I'll, I'll do a video for you on the farm and show you what we are doing there. Okay, so bye for now and um, hope to see those of you who would like to come for the workshop, right? Uh, do mail me, get in touch with me or go to my website and you'll get the details there. Bye and God bless.